Hey guys, Jeff from Texas Moto Works. Uh, you're probably so tired of hearing that. I'm tired of saying it. <laughs> so who who is the who is the star or what is the star out of all the bikes that I have here today? Is it the ZRX that I just got done doing the carbs on, which came out came out beautiful, uh, full rejet, thanks to Ivan's performance. It's dead on. It's it's awesome. Is it the 92 GS1100G, one of a kind, that I have done? Hmm. Missing a wheel. Um, it's waiting on a final drive. Is it the Hayabusa? No, it's none of these. The star of this shop today is this 87 Goldwing. And I'll say this. I, I know I'm good at restoring things. I've been restoring automobiles and as a business and as a hobby for most of my life. But I'm just in shock at what a gem was hiding under 10 years of dirt and neglect and muck. One, it's a testament to my resto skills, yeah, but it's also a testament to the Japanese motorcycle. You know, the, the materials they use. This is an old bike, it's an 87. And it's original paint, everything on it's original. But I mean, and, and mind you, it's been, it's been, I don't know if cared for is the right word, but it's been stored well because all of this paint, all these surfaces, and you know, I've taken off the bags and cleaned inside. I mean, about two days of detailing on this thing. But look at all the the materials, you know, it's I'm waiting, I'm waiting on this. He had had we won't even get into the electrical issues this bike had as far as what the previous owner added, but he had some kind of weird like compass, uh, thermometer, um, <laughs> personal, I don't know what it was, but I had to unwind a lot of wiring and, and, and whatnot on this bike. But my point is just, I mean, look at the surfaces, look at the materials. This is, we're going on what, 40 years and everything is, is in good shape. It's a testament to the, to the Japanese motorcycle. Um, that's why I love these because you know, they're, I, I've worked with enough of them now. You can, they're, they're built well from the get go. And even if they're neglected, even if they're locked away in a barn for a long time, uh, you just, you can, you can make them beautiful again. And this bike is, is a testament to that. It's just, it just kind of blows me away at how beautiful this bike came out. I did not expect it. Now, you guys at home didn't see what I started with. You'd understand why I, why I say that. But how cool is this thing? I mean, this is why I, I love. I remember when this bike was, was the touring bike to have. And here's another thing. All the electronic stuff, all the gizmos, the air suspension, the cruise control. Well, the cruise control goes on at least. I don't know if it works, we'll find out. But everything else is is working. I just sprayed some contact cleaner in here just to, because it, yeah, it's working now. Oh, it's my favorite station right there. Oh, yeah, anyway. Yeah, all that, all that stuff, all the electrical stuff on it works too, which is, which is just amazing to me. So, anyway, ugh, that's that. That's that. So yes, that is the star of the shop today, and I cannot wait to ride this thing. It's raining today. I was going to take it out tomorrow if the weather's clear. We'll see. Um, I don't know if I want to go far distances on it just yet, just because of how apart I had it with the carburetors and whatnot. So um, uh, we'll see. Funny footnote is the previous owner had overfilled the oil quite a bit. So when I started it up, if you saw a stage five, <laughs> stage five smog alert in Dallas about a week ago, that was me. That was me. It smoked out the whole entire, entire neighborhood. But um, it's still smoking a little bit, even though I got the oil level right. Uh, but hopefully we'll... We'll clear that out. So anyway, all right, guys. Thanks for tuning in. Take care.